Right. Go pick her up again. <laughs> uh, we're going to put her in here. And then we're going to allow raw food. Um, what we don't want is proper meals. But raw food's fine. Particularly, I would like it if you did the uh, insect meat. There we go. And now Salinas is, uh, Salinas Sailor is just over here chilling. Ooh, who have we found? Um, now we've done that though, I'm also going to actually do some research and some other stuff. So, let's get some smithing, some machining and stuff. Uh, actually, no, microelectronics. There we go. Who did we find? Sephagoa. Sephagoa. Um, Sleeper of Nakai, Sleeping God, the Toad God, the main cavern, sloth, gluttony, sleep, formless spawn. In that secret cave in the vowels of the, 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 abides from eldermost aeons, the god Sephagoa. You shall know Sephagoa by his great girth and his bat-like furriness. And the look of a sleepy black toad, which he is eternally. He will not rise from his place, even in the ravening of hunger, but will wait in divine slothfulness for the sacrifice. So he's a, like a cat. He'll just sleep until you feed him. Um, can make deals with mortals on occasion. During those mortals can acquire his ichor and gain effortless power. Interesting. Oh, upgrade that altar, by the way, so that I can sacrifice people. Uh, do I want to? You know what? Yeah, let's let's worship this toad god. Let, let's see what he gives me. So I don't think Hasta will really give me that much. I don't remember Hasta being. I mean, he's. Uh. Yeah, I don't think he's that great. There we go. So, we're going to shovel food into here. And she is going to produce us power. Which is great. Now, I'm not going to have to, re like, rely on wind power anymore. I can rely on her to do my stuff. She's going to generate power for me. Um, Just by using her body. So, what we're going to do is we're going to carry on building. I'm going to start building this place up a little nicer now, um, recreation-wise. So, my people aren't going crazy. going to build... I need to build two uh, choke points as well. I need to build one, like, here-ish. Yeah. Um, in fact, I'll start the orders for those now. Because otherwise, I'm going to end up in trouble. Just looking around the map, just looking for some corpses. Could use uh, some more corpses and stuff, you know. Build a lot of this base out of bones. Bones. Anyway, yeah, you can see here, I'm going to do one up top as well. This is just a small kind of um, basic build. Um, I am going to also just tell them I can cut all these plants just because I can't see all. Um, basically, these are embrasures. So an embrasure is really fun. Basically, it's a wall with a hole in it that my guys can shoot through. 
And the AI will prioritize areas that they can walk through have for over having to beat down doors and such. So what they'll do is they'll see that this is once it's done, there will be a gap here. They'll be able to just walk through. They'll just have to go through this area that's full of traps. They get to this point, sandbags slow them down. They'll then have to go from here, walk down to here, but all my guys will be lined up here, ready to shoot them. So, it's a basic thing, but it's quite useful. I'm going to do the same up top. Um, I will most likely build a door down there as well, because it'll keep... Uh, Keep crap out, just like animals from trying to get through. Um, irons, what's irons? What's up with you? Blood lost miner. Breeze, Breeze, have you been eating people? There we go. Yeah, it's not much, but it's going to be my dining hall. Um, furniture. Let's start with a nice table. Yeah, it, it's not a very big area. Um, but, you know. I to keep them from whinging. So, recreation-wise, can't make either of those yet. I can make a gramophone. There we go. Need more wood. I'm going to get wood on the uh, slowly do this place. Um, um, I also, I need to do the same up here to be perfectly honest as well. Um... So, structures, let's start with the, uh, much in the same aspect, just have like a nice long area here, oh, so the only two areas people are going to attack from, they're not going to come from this way because mountain there having only two entrances it's going to be really helpful make it much easier to defend this place so we'll just leave these getting on that's also actually quite a good thing uh, this webbed marshy soil pain in the ass to build on obviously but um, it's going to slow down anyone um, who tries getting in here. Will <laughs> someone please instruct that, please? Uh, I do also want to build a proper prison at some point. Um, two, two other things that I need to build. One of which is yeah one of which is that i need a guest house which i think honestly i might build here or i might make this where caravans go we'll see um so i have a i have a plan for the caravans as well which will be quite interesting um actually i don't think mm, i might i might build caravans here yeah. Oh, steam geyser. Um, so I have, I have an interesting plan for them. Oh, colossal air fleet. These guys are annoying, especially on a map like this, because they're kind of like boomalopes. They explode into fire. Which, you know, it's not too bad, but other animals will hunt them. Oh, damn. 
These feralisks are just not... Wow, they're starving. Ooh, Cracker understands more about magic, which is good. So, what I want to learn... Yep, there we are. Um... Do I want to upgrade these? There we go. So, just throw that down, Cracker. Now, I like these. Really, really fun little spell. Works the same way as the house cat. It will go around, it will do hauling, it will do cleaning. But, I don't have to feed it. It can die for all I care. I'll just re-summon it. Higher levels let you summon more than one as well. Tracker has created a wooden dining chair. That's masterwork. Title Hippo's Lullaby. Okay. An engraving on this furniture represents Keisuke Hippo Bell being hammed seemingly without remorse. Blood is pooling around Hippo's body. The sign... Style is sinuous with cubist elements. Strikingly, a mink floods in the distance. This portrayal refers to the assaulting of Hippo on the 2nd of April, May 5501. Wait, what happened? To, what happened to Hippo? Who beat Hippo? Are they referring to when she set on fire? I think they're referring to when she set on fire. Oh, look at these places. They look awful. Oh, oh, stonecutters. Cool. Um, what have I got a ton of? Let's let's do granite. Let's uh, two hundred of those. Um, bills. Only one perished. It was murdered by an anaconda. Let's just turn the minion into food then. Um, let's make six of those. And... Uh, tentacled vestments. Six of those. Oh! Okay. My vampire dude die. Yeah, he did. I uh, probably uh probably sound fire to be perfectly honest. Hippo, do you not have anything, warden? You know, hippo. I'm gonna. You should construct instead of doing that more. Um. It's because I got research on number two, bro. Um, which is good, but. Alright, so I want you a doctor. Wait, what? Hippo. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, that's great. That works. Um Yep. Yep, this this is this is this is a thing that's happening. Cool. <laughs> oh, great, 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 great. Uh you can have all raw food. Don't really care. Just don't give you real food. A masterwork table. The room itself is awful. That's that's to be expected. <laughs> I don't expect anything else at the moment.
Right, I'd like to just continue clearing out this entire area, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, cool! A junglist gave birth! Nice. Berry bush. Lots of blood around here. Bunch of junglists just outside my door. I am sorted for power now, though. Power output 1,200. And a 1,000 from a person. I'm not going to run out of power anytime soon, unless there's a solar flare. <laughs> That's me knocking on wood. <clears throat> Alright, Cracker, you're, uh... Deconstruct that. Pretty much finished over here. It's over here I need to sort out now. Um, and this might be... I feel like this is going to be more of a fight. So I'm going to fight through this. Oh no. 